there, and welcome to the exciting world of hip. Good morning. I'm Andrea Jackson with your wake-up call for Wednesday, March 9th, 2011. The missing student from San Diego State University has been found. 22-year-old Austin Bice's body was pulled from a river near the Madrid nightclub where he was last seen 10 days ago. An NPR exec is in some hot water for calling Tea Party supporters racist, laughing at a joke about Jews and admitting public radio doesn't need federal funding. All caught on camera, by the way. He's on administrative leave. Apple is expected to reveal its new iOS 5 operating system along with a new and improved version of Mobile Me next month during its annual get-together. One million dead sardines were found floating near a marina in Southern California. The site resembled an afternoon catch and turned out to be an all-you-can-eat buffet for Redondo Beach Pelicans. Starbucks turns 40 this week. To celebrate, the coffee giant is updating its logo, offering a new line of Starbucks petite treats and debuting Tribute, a new blend of coffee. And the Giants are releasing Tiki Barber from his contract so he can come out of retirement, work as a free agent, and play pro ball again. His 36-year-old twin brother just signed with the Buccaneers. Apparently, the TV gig didn't work out so well. Your Orlando weather forecast, thunderstorms late, highs in the 80s. That is your Wednesday morning wake-up call. I'm Andrea Jackson, and I'll ring you in the morning. Be good.